Welcome to YouTube video of RV Max US. Today we're going to present you nice Tiffin Phaeton. It's a 2006 model, 40 QSH. That's Quebec Sierra Hotel. We just got this coach in. Uh, you're going to love this coach. It's got four slide outs, plenty of room, plenty of underbelly storage, rides on a Freightliner chassis. So it's a raised rail XC chassis. So it's got a, a, a basement to like pass through storage. Panoramic, panoramic one piece windshield, free from any major damage. I don't see any star cracks or anything like that. Maybe just the one little one right here. I just saw it right here. That's on passing the side. Above the windshield, a little bit of a clear coach coming off. We have a body shop guy can probably paint that for five, six hundred bucks, so you can have it done. Not a big deal. But the 3M film is in okay, good shape. Got a couple of little, a uh, few stuff. Maybe a little road rock marks. It's got a road, road rock chips or whatever you call it. It's got about 83,000 miles, so it's not a, a garage queen. She is made to be driven on the road. And that Cat C7 350 diesel engine in the back. It's made to be driven, not let it sit around. Um, chrome mirrors look good. They got a little oxidation perforation here, but you know, other than that, it's in good shape. It's a gray, champagne, burgundy, and a gray at the bottom again. Michelin tires in the front. I think they're like, I just saw the date code. They're like uh, 37 of 17 or 13 of 17. So that's when they were manufactured. That doesn't mean they were put on 17. They're probably two years old, maybe three years old at the most. They were manufactured in uh, like spring 17. So, you know, they're probably installed late 17 or 18. The previous owner didn't know. The back tires are a little bit older than that, but they're not showing any uh, dry checking, okay? Dual fuel, so you got, you can fill up the fuel from both sides. All right, so we got slides closed right now. You can see a metal or aluminum shroud on top of these two windows awning. It's really uh, nice to provide you a, a nice shade in those summer hot days. Got a couple of little road rock chips, just a very little uh, not bad. Let's go over the compartment doors. LP gas right here. By the way, I cannot, oh, I just cannot help myself. Look at how shiny this alcohol wheels are. Freight line of center cap. Just beautiful aluminum wheels. Can you open LP tanking in and see if it's got Sure, it? I'll do really fast. Okay, there we go. That's a good size of tank, probably 38 gallon tank. Uh, over here, we got a Side opening doors, I love that. So pass through storage. Got Dirt Devil vacuum cleaner over here. You'll see that. And look at that, it opens up way there. I mean, you could install some slide out trays if you like, but it's got a plenty, plenty of storage. And I love the way doors are shutting. Just, just nice sound of shutting it. Paint is in excellent shape. Like I said, just a couple of little chip I saw, but straight walls, no D-lamb. Actually, it's very shiny paint. Uh, the burgundy, it just looks really nice. This is your typical wet bay. You have a gray and black tank discharge, outside shower, uh, water filtration system. Um, it does have a sewer flush. Oh, that's a hot body. Hot water Michael. Yep, should have. Uh, hmm, this doesn't have a sewer flush. Okay, maybe not. I don't ah. see it. That is a sewer flush. Thank you. Yes, it always helps to have a, another set of eyes. So come back in here. Come close to this Michelin tires. There are, you know, 13 date codes could be installed in 14. They may be six, seven years old, but no dry checking, okay? They're in good shape. You'd like to have new tires? Hey, knock yourselves out. The Michelins are not cheap one. They're about $600 a piece. So four tires be $2,400. You like Toyo, they may be about 1,800 bucks. This is your 50 amp power cord uh, storage uh, compartment. Have a very easy to change automatic transfer switch if it ever goes bad. Um, lights, some plugins. I guess some of the plugins are for uh, those uh, winter days in Alaska or somewhere they have a block heater. Over here, what we have, let's see. Wow, another 50 amp extension cord. Okay. All right, come around the back. Nice full fiberglass cap. 
just very minimal little road rock chips that are hard to see in the video probably. I'd just like to point them out. It is a 2006 model, not a 2021. Let's look at this here. The radiator honeycomb looks great in really, really good shape. This thing, we just drove it from Florida to here. It drives excellent. So we'll go up on top and show you roofing a little bit here. Come around the driver's side. Let's continue the uh, tour. Over here we have an inverter and some of the solenoid. Batteries are in really, really good shape. Uh, hasn't given us any trouble. So you got a four coach batteries and two chassis batteries and some of the fuse and all the electric harness. That is your HWH. All right, let's see, we got, we got a Honda is hollering at us right now. So another uh, window awning here, back in bedroom. So this is a four slide coach. Man, those wheels look shiny, don't they, boo-boo? They're wheels, those are Michelin tires. Like I said again, they're not brand new, but you could probably got little time. So the same storage we saw on the other side, let me go ahead and open them up. Plenty of room, got extra tile for the tile uh, floor that is inside. And we have a flat panel TV that is covered up in a black, this looks like a garbage bag, but yeah. It's a, it's a Vizio smart TV and it slides out, it's on a slider. So you kind of open this up, uh oh, remote fell off. So you get the picture and then it, it twists back and forth. So nice little uh, patio TV. Big slide here. Paint's in excellent condition. I don't see any damage on this side, like all the compartment doors and all looks really nice. So we'll demonstrate those uh, patio awning and entrance awning and we'll open the slide up. Let's do that real quick. Oh, you get speeded up, right? That's the entrance awning. So we got the door awning, patio awning is acrylic. We also have a bedroom awning. But look, we got the slides out now. Looks really nice with the slides out. The ladder at the end is slightly bent, but it still works. I'm 175 pounds, I just got up on top. So it's got a little pinch, but it works great. All right, so here we go. Both slides on the driver's side are open and that big uh, acrylic awning they're like a lifetime you know they last forever uh, both slides open looks really nice check it out all right let's go inside and show you the interior video now all right let's get in this tipping roughing it smoothly motorhome check it out very very clean as soon as you come in we have a tiling floor that's really nice check it out Bam, it's got tall ceilings, all LED lights. Both of the roof air conditioners are heat pumps and they're brand new. They got, the, the guy bought like five year warranty. It's still got four years left. The documentation, we have them here. Uh, so there are new heat pumps. Speaking of new, we have a brand new refrigerator. We'll just start right here. Uh, we we'll just, there is no, check it out. This is a H A I R higher hair. It's made by, GE profile, that's what the guy at uh, Home Depot told me that I got from. All right, so four door refrigerator, really nice. 37 degrees on fridge and zero on the freezer. How about that? Really nice stainless steel, I love it. This is your uh, hookup for Dirt Devil. It has all the hookups in the back. So tiles are in really good shape, except the couple of tiles right here have a Slight hair crack, I showed you there extra tile underneath. If you'd like to change them, you can. Uh, this Corian countertops looks nice. Uh, if you're really, really crazy, you look, they got some scratches and stuff, but no cracks. Uh, they polish them. If you want to polish them, you can. 
That is a stainless steel sink. Yep. Yep. And it's got a pull out sprayer. Some uh, extra counter space. And we got three burner gas stove. Convection oven, which is right up here. Convection microwave oven, because you got more storage under here. Speaking of all the counter space, here's a one you're going to love. Another kitchen island comes out. So, you know, I, I love cooking, and everybody um, knows when you're cooking out here, more counter space is better. You know, you got some cut up vegetables here or preparing whatever if you eat meat again. <laughs> Let's see, turn a light on. Maybe you need to, uh, no, there you go, LED lights under there. I love lights, that's my pet peeve. More, more the better. So they got deep storage. And it's a tall ceiling, like I said, all LED lights. All the lights have been upgraded to LEDs. Uh, this dinette opens up and it's got a couple extra chairs back there, nice little um, counter space back here to put some bread, fruits, whatever. Uh, lots of storage up here. I love this wood uh, woodwork that Tiffin did. Uh, it's just really nice. Um, this sofa opens up in a full bed. It comes out, or queen size. This sofa, I think, opens up in a, yep, it'll be a jackknife, so you know, you can have two, three slips here comfortably. Both of these driver and a passenger seat swivel around, and we'll go over the dash right when we hit the road. Test drive it. Got an LED uh, Vizio Smart TV up here. Got a satellite dish, HD TV. You saw the a little uh, dome dish up on top. I don't know. This is HD hard drive, but they may go with it. Whatever it is, digital antenna upgrade. Over here is all the books and manuals along with the paperwork I was talking about for the new uh, air conditioners and or refrigerator we just installed. So carpet on both sides and some carpet on a slide out. Those folks have subscribed to our channel know that we do put hardwood floors but we're just putting some of the stuff like they are. If you'd like to have hardwood floors done in a bedroom and a front living room part of the uh, living room you'd be looking at somewhere around a couple of grand or somewhere around there so stand up part of the coach we've got a nice little sink with some counter space a medicine cabinet some drawers and storage and over here we've got a nice size bathtub and uh, I always like to demonstrate let me hop in there like if I'm taking a shower so those tall folks, I'm six feet with my shoe, maybe six one, but look, you could, you could take a shower easily, okay? Those tall folks, hey, you got a little shampoo stuff. How about that? In a bathtub, that's a really nice thing to have. Over here, we have a private toilet. And look at all the walls. I mean, you saw outside, there was no D-lamb, so no water leak problem, you know. It's in really good shape. You got another sink here, medicine cabinet, some storage back there. And um, I don't know if I mentioned the... The back of the toilet lid is a little, it's broken. I think there's a piece right here. Look, uh, you could probably JB weld it, okay? <laughs> or some kind of, not a big deal. It still functions, okay? So there's a pantry that comes out. Uh, you can put some canned goods and stuff. And we have a privacy door that separates the living room to the bathroom area. And speaking of privacy door, we have a two doors that come out. Uh, this one is unlocked. I mean, locked. Let's see. So you got a door. Two doors that gives you complete privacy back in a bedroom. And you just lock them back up, uh, just like that. All right, come on back here. Got another LE, uh, Vizio Smart TV along with some room back here. Hey, uh, what do you know? HP printer, finders, keepers. You can have it. Uh, I got a little printer there. And another uh, Sony DVD player here. Uh, some vanity space. Hey, they put little... Mm -hmm. I need to tighten up that bulb. There we go. A little bulb here. Huh? Um, two thermostat. Another one is back here. King size bed. Bam. That is an excellent, excellent uh, option to have. All right. So nice uh, 
king size bed. I love it. So two slide gives you plenty of room, as you can see. Over here, I think the previous owner, see, he hung some kind of frame, and the frame was going back and forth and put a little nice uh, mark. We've got a washer, a dryer, made in Italy. It's a Splendid 2100. And I think over here, we got those washer, I mean, what do you call the central vacuum system hoses and all the stuff. We got plenty of drawers here. A little laundry chute. Over here, we have a nice coat closet. And look, I'm six feet and you can still fit in here. Uh, plenty of room, coat closet. There are two extra chairs. And got some more storage up on top. Let me turn that light off. Let's see what's under the bed, see if there is any more storage. There are two windows on both sides. Some of those window, uh, what do you call the curtains or blinds, they're notorious. You know, you got to tie them up. Hey, I, there are a couple of them are bad. Or you can go to Lowe's and get some nice one, okay? Just want to. Okay, let's see. Oh, a little more storage under there. How about that? These are, I think, uh, windshield covers, or window covers. All right. By the way, previous owner who we got it from, they said this was very high dollar memory foam mattress. Uh, all right, let's see uh, what else we can add here, boo boo. Can we add anything else or just hit the road? Let's test drive and show them how it drives. So generator, it's, it's easy to open up. It's got a little lever. You pull it and it opens up. It's got 2,300 hours and it's just warming up for this Kubota engine which uh, Onan Cummins uses it. And very, very simple to, and easy, easy to work on when they slide out like that. It'll slide out a little more. And the lever to open is located right here. Uh, roof is solid, in good condition. We just got a lot of debris on top from tree. Some uh, dry, spots but little clear coats coming off in the front but the roof feels great walking around on it you got a updated antenna digital antenna the air conditioning shrouds look good we have a three max airs on top for each vent they are in a kitchen and a bathroom area slide out toppers look good um, like i said he's got some just three leaves and stuff okay uh and some some uh black stain but it's a great great uh, solid fiberglass roof here on top low profile air conditioners look good all the caulking looks good so no worries on top of the roof all right all right here we are on test drive on this 2006 Tiffin Phaeton 40 QSH um, Freightliner chassis XC it's got a tilt and telescopic steering wheel um, 83,000, about a 110 miles. Got two 12 volt outlet for his and her charging. You may have some there, or you can also have a GPS hookup. By the way, Das Air is ice cold. My God, that's a nice thing to have. Really, really nice air conditioning. By the way, radios, you can upgrade them. We have some guys that can upgrade, put your Bluetooth nice radio with the touch screen for four or 500 bucks. They're cheap. Um, it is very quiet. Yes, that's, that's a great thing you notice. Um, really nice. Uh, we've got an exhaust brake, got a pedal adjustment. That means your brake pedal and a fuel pedal comes up and down according to a uh, height of the driver. I mean, you got the power seats, Oh man, that exhaust brakes is strong. I'm gonna turn it off because we're just doing a city driving. So we're gonna get on the highway in just a little bit and give you a, a little bit of feedback on the highway. It, it rides really good so far at, you know, 30, 35 miles an hour in town. It's got air horn and a city horn. Somehow or another, I couldn't get an air horn to work. It, it could be something, maybe those tubes, they go up in the air horn, maybe deteriorated or something. But hey, it does have horn. But I love air horns. I, I even called the previous owner to bug him. Hey, what's up with my horn? <laughs> we'll check that out. Air horn on. Okay. It's got a CB radio. How about that? Breaker, breaker. Roger that. 
if you like that. It's, it's a nice to have a little, it's got a fog light. You just lift the headlight up, the headlight knob switch, kind of like a Ford truck switch. Uh, you turn it on and lift it. It's got a fog lights in the front. I love this panoramic windshield. It's great view you get with this big windshield without any divide divider in the middle of it. Um, it has a couple of uh, fans. Let's see, right hand fan comes on, and left hand fan comes on. They have two switches or two speeds. Let's see. This is your sunshade for the driver's side. And the passenger side, both work. So the purpose of our video is to just show you what works and what not and uh, kind of overall giving you a, a feel of, you know, what motorhome is. Because uh, there's so many people just put motorhome for the pictures. We like to do video because as they say, Pictures are thousands of words. I believe videos are millions of words. How about that? And I do have millions of words. I can talk. <laughs> All right, so here we are, hitting the interstate. All right, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, And almost 65, we'll put a cruise on. Cruise has engaged at 65 miles an hour. It steers straight, doesn't pull right or left. Just easy to drive, 65 miles an hour. Don't do this at home. I'm taking my hands off and it's steering straight. Sometimes steering wheel could sit right or left. I've had some people that watch our YouTube video, hey, I saw the steering wheel was a little right. Yeah, uh, it's steering straight. I don't care what the steering wheel sits. You can take it off and put it straight if you'd like. All right, this is the time to check the t uh, uh, exhaust brakes. I've turned it on. I'm about to take an exit. And I barely touch brakes. And guess what? The exhaust brake is slowing me down right now. I don't know if you could hear in the video, but it's just like revving up. Ah, so there we are. Exhaust brake works works really good. You know, I did notice, but when you notice, it's very quiet. I know we didn't drive just three, four miles, but enough to drive to know it's a quiet motorhome. There's not a lot of beeps and rattles going along. No, especially considering it's South right. Carolina roads. Yep. And uh, yeah, that that's that's phenomenal. It is because some of the motorhomes do rattle a lot. Just very minimal. Um, it's a good Freightliner chassis. Um, let's see what else I can add. The cruise work. So it's got a few stuff that doesn't work or something like that. Oh, by the way, we are on a process of fixing the driver's side front HW8 jack right below my butt right here. Uh, the springs are missing. We've got a, one spring broke and I've got to put two springs. So we'll get that working. Um, uh, let's see, um, you know, cl clear coat, what? Phone number. Phone number, 864-404-0054. That's my number, 864-404-0054. You can also call our son, 864-376-5600. We prefer text communication. If you don't know how to text, we understand. Just leave us a voicemail and we'll get back to you. I guess that's about it. Look forward to earning your business. Have a good day.